Hi guys, this is Dynamic Language Educator. In this video, you're gonna learn how to start a conversation smoothly after greeting someone in English. Like the last time, I prepared some relevant scenes from TV series for educational purpose. All of them are from the first episode, so no spoilers. I hope that after watching this video, all of you will be able to start a conversation in English more naturally. Alright, with no further ado, let's begin. Hi, honey. Mom, so glad you could make it. You look lovely. Thanks. Talk to Kim before you go. Sam, hi. Beautiful eulogy. Mostly lies, I hardly knew him. You were there a lot towards the end, my mom said. Morning, Aaron. Hey, Ben. You look terrible. I was up all night. I had a menage a raccoon in my backyard. Hey. Hi there. You slept here? I was working on something. I figured I'd try to, I don't know, make this right somehow. Morgan? Oh. Hey. <laughs> How's your day? As exciting as yours. Yeah, it was just a press conference. Okay, these are the scenes I prepared. Did you see how diversely they started the conversations? We're gonna watch them again, but this time, please focus on the expressions, topics, and the relationship of the characters in the scenes. Hi, honey. Mom, so glad you could make it. You look lovely. Thanks. Talk to Kim before you go. Sam, hi. Beautiful eulogy. Mostly lies, I hardly knew him. You were there a lot towards the end, my mom said. I was up all night. I had a menage a raccoon in my backyard. Hi. Hi there. You slept here? I was working on something. I figured I'd try to, I don't know, make this right somehow. Morgan? Oh, hey. <laughs> How was your day? Not as exciting as yours. Yeah, it was just a press conference. All right, let's analyze the scenes together. We've got five scenes here. In both first and second scenes, the characters started the conversations with praising the others. For example, in the first scene, the mother said, you look lovely. And in the second scene, Dr. Kim said, beautiful eulogy. So we can learn that praising or complimenting others is one way of starting a conversation. Moving on, in the third scene, Ben, the smaller guy, said to the big guy, you look terrible. If they were not close friends, the big guy could think that's offensive. However, they're best friends. So their close relationship makes this expression acceptable and sound like a joke. So, making a joke might be a good starter if you want to talk to your close friends. Next, in the fourth scene, the police officer asks her co-worker whether he slept there or not. So, she's kind of expressing worry to him. Expressing worry or asking how they're doing is a common way of starting a conversation. I'm sure you also do that a lot. The last scene is similar. The mother is asking her daughter how her day was. But there's a difference. In the first scene, expressing worry was just a way for the police officer to start the conversation, whereas in the last scene, expressing concern was the main topic of the conversation. 
So technically, the mother in the last scene didn't really say anything that might help her to start a conversation smoothly. Why is that? That's because their relationship is too good. You may heard of a saying, the closer you're with someone, the lesser you have to say something. A lot of times, we say unnecessary things to break the ice. But you don't have to do that if you are talking to a very close friend. I assume that's one of the main reasons why the mother in the first scene started the conversation differently from the mother in the last scene, considering the similarity of their contexts. To sum up, in terms of expressions, we've got you look lovely and beautiful eulogy. Other than these two, you can use exclamatory sentences such as how nice of you or what a beautiful person you are. Next, topics. You can praise, make a joke, and express concerns. Of course, you should consider the context. Lastly, relationships. If you're talking to someone you're very close with, it's not necessary to start the conversation with an icebreaker. So please keep these points in mind. And there are actually millions of ways to start a conversation. So please don't be limited to what we just covered, but use them. And if you interpreted these scenes in a different way, you're always welcome to leave a comment. Okay, let's practice. Like the last time, you can find the countdown box in each scene. When the time's up, start a conversation using the expression on the countdown box. Your roles in the scenes are as follows. Hi, honey. Mom, so glad you could make it. Thanks. Dr. Kim, before you go. Sam, hi. Mostly lies, I hardly knew him. You were there a lot towards the end, my mom said. I was up all night. I had a menage a raccoon in my backyard. Hi. Hi there. I was working on something. I figured I'd try to, I don't know, make this right somehow. Morgan? <laughs> Not as exciting as yours. Yeah, it was just a press conference. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll continue uploading useful and interesting videos for you. Please subscribe if you like this video. Have a great day and hope to see you soon.